my gift to Erin is this recipe box, and everybody should have gotten a recipe card in their invitation. If you brought it, you can just stick it right in there for Erin. So they're supposed to write their favorite recipe down for you. Okay. And then next to it, this jar is just a an advice jar. There's some little strips of paper, and we'll put the uh, we'll put the, <laughs> we'll put the pens and pencils back up there after it's like. And just when you have some spare time. You know, eating, talking, whatever. Go ahead and just write some words of advice for Aaron. I think maybe you should let Marcy read them before we leave. Still to be decided. Papers and contracts, though. Okay, so that's that, and there's some nice pictures of them. Jenny and put up two of them, and I made it. Aaron gave me that one. She just came home with it today, so you can take a look at those. Um, I had to write this out because I'm so Could I just interject that Katie has just come back from doing her student teaching in Washington, D.C. Do you all feel like you're... She's an expert. Very nice. Okay, so we have experts. We have a couple of games that we um, are going to do. Um, so everybody go ahead and take a piece of paper. And Jenny's going to get you a book. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. And um, <laughs> take a pen or a pencil. I think we hope we have enough. We can grab. I know we can share. I've got too. grandma on my team. Yeah, you're going to win for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a trick on a chair, you know, like Fred Astaire does in the movies. You step on the chair, you step on the back, and it tips, and you keep walking. But the chair was broken, and it rolled to the side, and instead of going back, and I fell and broke my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't need a book. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I actually, um, we have to take off a little early. Our big family West Christmas dinner for Stephen's side of the family is tonight. And so um, I have to drive four hours to Bakersfield. <laughs> I'll be there by six o'clock for dinner. So. <laughs> I was not going to Thanks. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, I think they're getting more books. Yeah. All right. Everybody get some paper? Did everybody get a pen or a pencil? <coughs> Does everybody have something to write on? Okay. Can you give me another pen? I can't really play the camera. Aaron, have you decided how you put your name in the upper right hand corner? Okay, well, Jenny's getting a couple extra books. I'll explain what this game is. This game is um, Matching Famous Couples. Okay? So I'm going to read you a name. And it's one half of a famous couple, and you have to write down the other half, okay? So, for example, <laughs> the first one is Romeo, and you would write Juliet. Now, there's a lot of them. I'm going to go just kind of keep going through them, so if you don't know, you say about that. Okay, and you might want to write down the number. How many numbers are there? Can we be teams? So we <laughs> 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 I want grandma on my team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's a good one. I just yeah. told her maybe she shouldn't play because she'll say I'm too loud and guys will hear. That's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. Can I come sit by her? Yeah, now grandma. Last night I decided I need to warn you that you cannot say these answers out loud. <laughs> Grandma gets excited because she knows all the answers to everything. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I there's a lot, so I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly. Number two, Minnie. Three, Han Solo. Four. Okay, I'll slow down. Right back. Okay, four, Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? um, <laughs> um, <laughs> and no cheating. We're doing this for prizes. This is oh, the real thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real thing. <laughs> Number five, Curly. This is from a musical, Curly. Oh, what's her oh, name? I think it was Rowan Hood. I think it was This is from a musical. And I, I believe these are all guy and girl couples. Yes. No, I'm, I'm not going to give you any more. I know Jack. 
Oh. As in nursery rhyme. Okay. That's six? Yeah. <coughs> Number seven, Donald Duck. Number eight, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> you like creativity for you. <laughs> Nine, Ariel. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> Ten, Ariel, <laughs> Little Mermaid. Yeah. yeah. Ten, Seidel. This is another musical. Oh. Seidel. Oh. Seidel. Oh. 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 Your goofy <laughs> husband in your play. What's his name? <laughs> oh. Oh. It's from Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, yeah, I know that Seidel. Song. Yeah. Hey, I, do I get points if I can sing his song? Yeah. Wonder, no. wonder. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you can grab a paper and pen and join us in Okay, number 11. Cinderella. 11. Oh, I know. Number 12, Sunny. Yeah. The singer and as in Bono. Yeah. No, no, no. If there's fifty of them, we have to go. Oh, okay. Thirteen, Beauty or Belle, whichever you want. Beauty or Belle. Beauty. Or Belle. Beauty. Okay, fourteen, Tom Cruise in real life. Oh. <laughs> or in the movie. Number fifteen, Franklin Roosevelt. His wife's name. Oh, uh, Sixteen. Anastasia. Oh, oh what? So forget his name. <laughs> I already had him. Wait, wait, wait. What was? Anastasia? I've only seen it a couple <laughs> times. He's <laughs> cartoon character. Like, oh, oh, I've never seen okay. it. He's skinny 17. though. Seventeen. <laughs> Emma. <coughs> oh, I watched it the other day. <laughs> wait, but we. <laughs> oh, oh. Number eighteen. <laughs> Aladdin. Oh, I can't think of her name either. <laughs> I got it. Thanks. Number 19. This is another musical, Cosette. What? Oh, 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 oh. yeah, sure. Cosette. Oh, I know this one. Okay, I know this one. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't remember that. I had to make some of them hard. Yeah, yeah. Number 20. Ozzy. Oh, Not our dog. Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzie. Number 21, Ruth in the Bible. Wait, what was 20? Hmm, brother. Ozzie. I don't know that one. Maybe I'm a player. Well, number 21 was Ruth from the Bible. 22, Dharma. <laughs> See, we need several generations <laughs> working. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Number 23, George Washington. <laughs> What was that? What was it? 23, George Washington. Don't her. She's so good. <laughs> 24, Thanks. Joseph the Carpenter. Oh, the one that's here on. That's what I wrote, because I thought you knew what you were talking about. <laughs> 25. Adam. I wrote the right the person. Adam. Adam. Wait, what was 24? You gotta listen, Mary. Uh, Joseph the Carpenter. 26, Lucy. Oh. 27, Fred. From the same, oh. we're in the same oh, little show. Oh, yeah. oh, not Fred Flintstone. Okay. No, not Fred Flintstone. <laughs> oh, you can take it down. Whoa, we got a mom in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Lucy and someone, and, someone and Fred and someone, both from the same show. Oh, oh, 28, Sleeping Beauty, or Aurora is her name in the Disney version. Sleeping Beauty. They're all the same. They're I have that one twice. <laughs> Number 29, Bonnie. What? Oh. Bonnie. And then Amanda's mom? No. <laughs> Darn it. Norm. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> 30. Norm. Ginger Rogers. Hmm? What number is that? 30. Okay, 31, Samson. In the Bible. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> yes. 32. <laughs> I got one. Air. Oh, I don't oh, know that one. Name. I won't remember that name. Nope. They all kind of run together, don't they? Jane Eyre. 33. Simba. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Oh, Cartoons, I got them. <laughs> 34. Linus. 
You can remember who was in love oh, yeah. with Linus. His little sister. <laughs> oh, no. Brittany. I didn't yeah. give it away. Oh, I was like, what? Brittany. Okay, 35. <laughs> Zeus. Zeus. Yeah. Is this another cartoon? Oh, Greek god. Greek Greek god. It is in the cartoon. Oh, yes. 36. I watched the movie. For the shower. Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Oh, gross. Oh, 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 I just saw the name yesterday. I knew it was Greek god. They killed him, though. 37. Lancelot. Oh, I love that. Okay, first night. No one's gonna see that. That was 37. Okay, 38. Hillary. And number 39. Just famous couple. 38. That's 38 Hillary and 39 is Bill. Figure that out. Oh, wait. Oh, that's. You'll get all offended. Oh, was so offended. Okay. 40. Do we get like multiple points? <laughs> <laughs> if we list more than two or three, we get points. <laughs> <laughs> Number 40. Number 40. That's important. Number 40. Number 40. Number 40. Number 40. The one person you, you know. Number 40 is Abraham from the Bible. Oh, yeah. 41. Anne Boleyn. Mm -hmm. Anne Boleyn. 42. Chandler. Oh. Chandler. TV. Oh. Thanks, TV. Chandler. Oh, oh. Well, oh. is it? Well, yeah. Some people don't watch TV. Watch TV. <laughs> no. It's current. It's the We're current talking one. current. Oh, don't watch TV. 43. 43. Elizabeth Bennett. Oh. Oh. Who is she? Literary. Elizabeth Bennett? Is that Little Women? No, what's that? Is no. Jane Austen? No. What is Elizabeth it? Bennett. I know it's it. No, she's it's in the literary. Movie. That's she's all I'm giving you. 44. Book, right? Oh, George Burns. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's me. 45. <laughs> Danny, as in the movie Grease. Danny. Oh, what was her name? <laughs> what number was that? I know, I know that. That was 45. <laughs> Okay. 46. Who <laughs> knows this one? Hero from Shakespeare. I'll even oh, give you the play. Much Ado About oh, Nothing. Oh, Hero. Okay. I didn't watch that one yet. Heroine. Um, <laughs> Hero. <laughs> Heroine. Heroine. <laughs> 47. Oh, great answer. Too long ago. 47. Joni. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Joni? 47 is Joni. 48, Christine from the musical <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. I'll just give you that one. Christine. I can't remember his name. Number 49, Clark Kent. And you better all get 50, Aaron. Oh. And you better spell it right. <laughs> That's right. You spelling count. Spelling? <laughs> I just looked it up. So no, I don't know. no, no, no. We no, but if you mess up one letter, oh, you get it wrong. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Now, I just want you to keep track. Just mark it wrong if you didn't get it. And then um, we'll count up how many you got right. Okay, here we go. Number one, Romeo and Juliet. Number two, Minnie and Mickey. <coughs> Number three, Han Solo and Princess Leia. Yes. <laughs> Four, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Oh, Anthony. who got it? I got it, I got it. Five, yes. Curly and Lori. Oh, that's her name. Darn it. Curly yes. and Lori. Six, Jack and Jill. Mm -hmm. Seven, Donald Duck and Daisy. Eight, Rocky and Adrian. Male female couples. Uh, most uh, of them. You didn't think that. that most of them are. And yeah. Yeah. they show you know that one. Oh, we got a little disagreement. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rocky and Adrian. Who else would it be? Oh, the Rocky. Joe Adrian. Adrian. 
So I got okay, nine, that. Ariel oh, and cool. Eric. Oh, oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, yeah. Ten, Seidel and Model. Model, oh, that's his oh, name. Model and Taylor. Model and Taylor. Eleven, Cinderella and Prince that. Charming. Twelve, Sunny and Cher. Thirteen, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Tom Cruise, number 14, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. <coughs> 15, Franklin Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt. 16, Anastasia and Dimitri. Dimitri, yeah. that's his name. 17, Emma and Mr. Knightley. I put, Mr. I put Joseph. I put Joseph. I put Joseph. <laughs> Me too. Joseph counts. Okay. Joseph counts. Okay. Joseph. For all the Mormon people in the room, <laughs> I will take Joseph. Um, Aladdin and Jasmine. Oh, yeah. 19, Cosette and Marius. Okay. <laughs> 20, Ozzy and Harriet. 21, Ruth and Boaz. 22, Dharma and Greg. I don't know who they are. It's a TV show. TV. What show is that? Dharma and Greg. 23, George no, Washington know. and Martha Washington. That's great. I missed it. Sorry. 24, Joseph and Mary. Joseph the Carpenter and Mary. Uh, 25, Adam and Eve. 26, Lucy and Ricky. And 27 was Fred and Ethel. I put Desi. Desi. I put Desi, but you wanted his name on TV, huh? Um, no, that's okay. Either one Because they were a couple in real life, too. Yeah. Um, 28, Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Oh, oh well, that was the Prince Charming. Charming. Where does Prince Charming come in? No, Prince, Prince Charming. Prince Charming. Prince Charming. Was not her Prince. Was. That was, that. Prince but Charming was with Charming. Cinderella and Snow White. But Sleeping oh. Beauty had Is that one? Okay. 29, Bonnie and Clyde. 30, Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. Really? Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, 31, Samson and Delilah. 32, Jane e Eyre and Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. That, name <laughs> that was Mother <laughs> 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 Oh, did I do it wrong? No. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was, that's Elizabeth Bennett. Junior, so Jane Eyre, then. Junior, I don't remember. I just remember. Oh, okay, scratch that one. I did it wrong. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who was, what was the girl's name in Wuthering Heights, then? Kathy. Yeah. Kathy. Okay, scratch it. Name mistake. Scratch what? Okay. All right. 32. 32 is out. 33, oh, Simba count. and Nala. I knew that. Who knew I knew that, that didn't sound <laughs> right, but right. I put it in. 34, <laughs> Linus and Sally. Charlie Brown's Sally. Sally. Darn it, that's her name. Love Linus. 35, Ooh. Zeus and Hera. Oh, yeah, 36, Hitler and Ava Braun. Ava. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the 37, Lancelot yeah. and Guinevere. I'm up by oh. 38, Hillary and Bill. 39, Bill and Monica. No, I think Hillary. Oh, I put <laughs> Hillary. I put both. <laughs> I, I, I put both. I put Jennifer <laughs> and Monica. <laughs> uh, 40, mm -hmm. Abraham and Sarah. Uh, 41, Anne Boleyn and Henry VIII. Oh, what if we right. put King Henry? Henry the what? The something? You did right. right. The B something. 42, Chandler and yeah. Monica. That's from Friends. Yeah, but didn't he also go with someone else? No, I said current, <laughs> oh, and right, it's yeah. very odd. They're living together now. <laughs> oh, I stopped watching that show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, 43, Elizabeth <laughs> Bennett and Mr. Darcy. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, oh, no, no, what's William Elizabeth Bennett from? Um, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, well, not Jane Austen. He's a literary. Yes, Jane Austen wrote it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought I, I thought I said Jane Austen. He said no. And I'm like, we gotta, where the hell is Elizabeth yeah, Bennett from? Jane Austen's <laughs> friend. Forty-four. George Burns and Gracie Allen. Forty-five. Danny and Sandy. Olivia went more. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk. Can remember her? Forty-six. Hero and Claudio. <coughs> That's from Much Do About Nothing. What was his last name though? Mr. Have... Benedict. No, uh, uh. What? Senior Benedict was his friend. Yeah. Claudio oh. and Hero were the uh, uh, oh, 47, Joni and Chachi. 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 Oh, 48, 
<laughs> Christine and Raul. Yes. <laughs> 49, Clark Kent and Lois Lane. And 50, Aaron and Corden, not Gordon, Corden. <laughs> you put a G, it's wrong. It has to have two O's. What? Both of those. Oh, well, I don't yeah. care about the insulin. So I just don't know what it is. Count up how many you got for now. How many we got wrong? How many got right? Oh. Wait, but so it's out of 49? Okay. Now, yeah, now it's out of 49. Just scratch that one I Failed. Okay. Still counting? Don't worry, it's great. Did anybody count all 49? Um, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Wait, Allie. No, no, no. I'm saying. 40. Let's just jump to the Yeah. 39, 38, 37. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Oh, oh, six. Man. That's almost to me. Who got thirty-five? Anybody get thirty-five? No, okay. Wendy won on. it by a long time. You got thirty-five. Jenny got thirty-four. Got 30 I did. I did too. Yeah. Pretty good for number one. Thirty-five. All right. So <laughs> Wendy, Wendy knows her famous couple. So she got that. Hey, the president. Do you want us to just pick one for you? Put your hand on my left leg. Oh, that's thirty-five. And I was a friend. We stuck in a lot of hard ones. We stuck in a lot of hard ones so that that would be too much faith in this baby. All right, good job. All right. Such a teacher. Okay, we've got one more game. It's actually, we've done it up in sort of the form of a multiple choice test, but it's Two, um, <laughs> two lies and a truth, and we decided it'd be easier to do on paper than out loud. So um, the way two lies and a truth works is that there are two answers that are not true and one that is, and you have to find the one that's true, okay? So if I said the bride's name is, and then I'd have A, Aaron, B, Brittany, C, Maggie. We know that Aaron's Very right good. Okay, good. and you guys could just go oh, ahead and start, and something. when you're ready, I don't think her family should know that was. Or not. Or we not. We questions. made it up. Yeah, they helped. Yeah, Max. And then I'll go over Maggie. it out loud. Maggie, get them all right. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we're in big trouble. Your family made up things that weren't true. Oh oh my gosh. Gosh. Well, yeah, we don't have to do these things. That's, that's why it's two lies and only one truth. We <laughs> <laughs> did do this on video, and oh, yeah, I, just I think one. we did it for Amy Comby, mm -hmm. but it asked a question and see what the fiance's response is, and then have Aaron either corroborate it or say no. And, oh. Um, did you know that, Aaron? Aaron, did you know, did you know we were planning on doing that? The same thing. What? Did you know we were planning on doing that? No. So we didn't. Like, we would have done it if you hadn't mentioned well, it at okay, your shower. Well, okay, the interesting thing, really, is that Gordon and I were in staff and everything. I don't think we missed one thing. I mean, we were just... Then there are then questions for women. I know we went. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Claire and Steve Christensen went on the new show? Yeah. <laughs> so, did, so did the Walkers. Really? Yeah. They did? No, they weren't working. Yeah. And, and Fred somehow picked up a southern accent during the show. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> My roommate's mom was on the dating game. No, most of them you're just And one of the bachelors was Tom Selleck before he was ever an actor. Really? Yeah. yeah. And they always showed on those before they were star shows. Yeah. Okay. So she was on there. Yeah. Let's try that. Never seen one. Yeah. Oh, I know this I don't know. Well, you know what he does, don't you? Aaron. Mom's gonna get mad. Mom's gonna get mad. Why? Oh, I didn't see the Oh, no, she saw it last night. Mags, I'm gonna zoom in on your paper here. Oh, Aaron. 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 Mama Bluntis. So. <laughs> so good, Meg. Um, so cute. Yeah. 
Grandma was telling me all about it. None of these sound right. <laughs> Allie and Jerry, Mary and Sally, they ran up this way. I'm ready to look up. One, two. Mm. Yeah, stand up, Erin. I did. Sure I know. Okay. Right. Two eyes and a yeah, truth. So Number true. one. Erin and Corden's first date never happened because Corden's car broke down. Was a blind date set up by Corden's aunt, or was a double date with Erin's sister Brittany? Does anybody know the answer? B. 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 Was a blind date set up by oh. Corden's aunt. Oh my gosh! Pick that up. Right. I think it had to be true because. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. Okay, two. Erin was proposed to in a tree on a horse under a waterfall. <laughs> In a tree. In a tree. The one I knew. Everybody's like, story. Yeah, you want to tell? Feel free to speak up anytime you want. Do you guys want the Yeah, who wants the rest? Well, gosh, it had been the first weekend after I moved up into the Bay Area. And I was stressed. I was trying to get everything organized, like get my apartment put together. But most of all, I had to do my workout because I hadn't had a chance to do my lifting and all this kind of stuff. Hey, it was a long day, but little did I know Corden had planned everything out. And we went to the temple in the morning and uh, just had a really nice temple session. And then we went, came home and um, went to the gym. And my workout ended up lasting like four hours because I was trying to make up days that I had missed from work. And so I took forever and Corden was done within an hour and a half, so he left and went home. And he said, well, when you get done, go home, get cleaned up, give me a call, and we'll go for a hike because we like to hike back in these foothills um, up there in Northern California. And um, so I said, okay, and got home from the gym super late and um, <coughs> called him, and I was really tired. I almost said, you know what, let's bag it because I was just tired. I didn't want to do anything, and, uh, but I didn't. I got cleaned up in about 10 minutes and was over to pick him up where he's staying right now, and... Um, and then the whole way over, <laughs> we were driving out to the foothills, and I was just complaining. You know, I was just in a bad mood and complaining. I said, I didn't get anything done. I had all these errands I wanted to run, and nothing happened. And he's like, he was really sweet, and he said, well, we can go run some now if you'd like. And I'm like, no, I won't. It's too late now. And, this and, <laughs> and I was just being a total girl. And uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, I asked him later, I'm like, if you knew what you were about to do, why did you say that? Why did you offer? And he's like, well, I wasn't going to let you. I was just going to play into it. <laughs> so anyway, um, we got back to the foothills, and I was oblivious to what was about to happen. But back in the foothills, we have a tree that we climb up often, and we just hang up there like two little kids hanging out like best friends. And um, So we got to the tree, and he's like, hey, let's climb the tree. And I said, okay. So we got up in the tree, and we're sitting up there. And... Uh, Let's see, he, we were up there for a few minutes, and all of a sudden he said, you know, I'm going to get down for just a second. And I was thinking, why in the world are you going to get down? You know, what, Tell them what you on? thought he was going to do. I was like, does he have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I was like, I just didn't, I was like, what is he doing? Anyway, he disappeared around the back for a second, and so I'm sitting up there in the tree all, all alone, and all of a sudden it hit me. And I knew exactly what was about to happen. And uh, so I'm sitting up there just like, what, what do I do? You know, and he comes back around. And so I'm way up in the tree, and he's way down on the, on the ground. And he kind of looks up, and he says, Aaron, you know, he says, do you know how much I love you? And I said, uh, well, I think so. You know, and <laughs> he got down on bended knee and proposed. And so I'm way up there, and he's way up there. <laughs> and uh, actually, I think before he got down on his knee, he tossed up the ring box to me and I caught it up in the tree. And so I'm sitting at the ring out. box and he's down on the <laughs> ground on a knee, you know. Anyway, I said yes and uh, asked him if he wanted to put the ring on and so I climbed down out of the tree. He helped lift me out of the tree and put the ring on and then I I knew that it was supposed to be a full moon either that night or the night previous or the night after and so I said let's hike to the top of the, this hill and see if we can find the moon. So we hiked up there, and we looked around, we couldn't find it, and all of a sudden we turned around, and there it was, we watched the entire moon rise over these foothills, and it was gorgeous. And I kid you not, probably about 30 seconds after the moon had completely risen, these fireworks went off down in the valley. Wow. So we're standing there, <laughs> engaged, you know, in the full moon with fireworks going off down in the valley, and I looked at him, I'm like, it's a sign. You know, I'm like, what is this? This is so... Perfect. Anyway, um, 
so then he we were standing up there and he said, this is the deal, we have dinner reservations. Um, I think he said at nine. I said, where? And he's like, I'm not telling. So we went home, he dropped me off, I got cleaned up, he got cleaned up, he came and picked me up. And uh, then uh, we went down to Saratoga, which is this quaint little town in Northern California. I went to La Fondue, which is fondue food, and he loves it. I've never been there, but he'd been talking about this place forever. So we went, but the neat thing is that there was also a street fair going on that night, and it was a beer festival, but there were all these, like, there were all these people dancing in the streets and live bands, and so there we were, you know, dancing and singing in the streets and going to this restaurant and full moon. I mean, it was the most romantic night of my entire life. It was great. So anyway. Then when she got home, she went into her bedroom right. and ready to go to bed. Right. I We went home and I had asked Cord and I said, well, before you go home, may I have a dance? And he said, sure. So I went into the bedroom to bring out the CD player and the CD music and everything. And I didn't notice at first, but all of a sudden I was doing things and looked up on my bed and my bed was covered in long stem white daisies, which were my mom's wedding flower, which he knew because I had told him that. And so these long stem white daisies are all over my bed. And on one corner at the top of the bed was a special personalized note from him, basically just saying, you know, may we always love and honor and, you know, make our decisions wisely with the Lord. And, you know, it was just beautiful. And then on the other side was a branch with a little piece carved out and a plaque inside of it. And in quotes it says, she said yes, 925.99, and the branch is from our tree. Oh. <laughs> he had to have some insurance. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I said, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> he, was, he was betting on her saying yes. Like, <laughs> he would have been in trouble. Somebody sneak in the apartment. Well, I wonder if you had yeah, it set it all up while we were gone. Yeah. Wow. He went to great lengths to make it perfect, which was perfect for me because I've always wanted a fairy tale. So, anyway. Wow. All right. Moving right along. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Corden was a chess pro, golf pro, or tennis pro. You can yell it out. Tennis. Tennis pro. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Julie yeah, should be allowed to play. I'm like, who, yeah, was he Julie? 27 okay. or 29? <laughs> I thought it was two and a half hey. years. I thought it was like three years. <laughs> Corden <laughs> is four. blank years older than Aaron. I thought it was Four. three. Yes. Yeah. He's 29, she's 25 right now. When did he turn 29? He turned 29 in um, <laughs> August. Okay, because see, when I knew him, he was, he was three years older, and I thought, is it two or four? <laughs> did they round up or round down? <laughs> four. Okay, the Blunts have a connection to Corden's family because A, Andy dated Corden's cousin, B, Brittany dated Corden's brother, or C, Mama Blunt dated Corden's grandpa. How did you about that, Mom? We were teasing her last night, and we decided to put it in after her. Because she got so mad last night when I said it. <laughs> she goes, you couldn't say his uncle? <laughs> Which is it? Jerry and I are going to leave. A. A. The older I You were in the same now. ward, and I was thinking, I didn't think Mama Blunt meaning you, I was thinking of somebody else. I thought, like, maybe. <laughs> no, Andy dated Corden's cousin, Capri. Look at Jamie. She probably gets that. Andy dated. That's not okay. Okay, Corden is 5'11, 6'2, or 6'4. He's 6'2". Oh, we oh, actually yeah. thought he was 6'4", but he corrected us. No, he's, 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 he's almost 6'3", he said. He <laughs> seems taller. He, uh, he's almost 6'3", but, but he yeah, said he's really 6'2". Yeah, he's setting up next time. He seems taller than 6'2". Yeah. I'm, I'm almost 6'2". Maggie and I so put 6'4", because we thought that was the answer, but yeah. he's 6'2". Aaron is 5'5", five, 5'7", five, five, or 5'9". Five, 5'7". 5'7". Okay. Too white. <laughs> Who said, I love you first? Was it Corden, Aaron, or did Brittany tell them they were in love? <laughs> I vote Brittany. <laughs> I knew he would write that as an answer. I think it would be Corden. It was Ashley Aaron. Oh, my God. Right? That's what, that's what he told me. <laughs> we thought it would be Corden, too, but it was Aaron. I'll tell I thought you it why. would have had to have been 
him because Aaron is never really yeah he was that cute at first. <laughs> <laughs> at first, it was so funny. On the first date, I didn't. I just you know I thought he was a great guy, but I wasn't like whoa you know. And then he came for the second time, and I was like hello Gordon. <laughs> I don't know what my problem was, but now I can testify to that. We were like, what are you talking about, Aaron? She's like, I don't know. I'm like. He's a cute boy. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, no, I um, I said I love you first because I, well, I knew, you know, how he felt about me, and I didn't know if he knew exactly how he felt about or how I felt about him, and so I wanted to tell him first. And I had always wanted to be wanted it to be the reverse, but then I just totally changed my mind. <laughs> okay, Aaron and Corden will be living in Menlo Park, California, Palo Alto, California, or St. George, Utah. Oh, Menlo Park. Yeah! Right. It's like Menlo two Park. minutes away. <laughs> we thought we'd trick you. I thought the only reason I would have ever heard of Menlo Park is because Aaron would have mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. Aaron and Corden will be will honeymoon in the Caribbean Islands, Greek Islands, or Hawaiian Islands. Caribbean Islands. For a very short time. <laughs> yeah, and the hurricanes down there are kind of they're all dead, aren't they? Okay, <laughs> on their first date, Corden's whole family came along, Aaron's little sister came along, or Corden's dog Jesse came along. <laughs> he doesn't have a dog. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, he didn't bring a dog to the apartment. <laughs> the answer is A, Corden's whole family came along because it was a wedding. wedding. And they went, and his whole family was there at the wedding. She met his parents on their met first date. Met his parents on their first oh, wow. date. <laughs> and what if his grandma, if his grandma or grandpa says, yeah, grandma says something to you? We, we call her Grandma Ma, um, and she doesn't like to be called Grandma because it makes her sound old. <laughs> so it's grandma Ma, so, so it's, gra <laughs> it's Grandma Ma without the E. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she pulled me aside, she shooed Corden away, she's like, go away. <laughs> and she called me up and she looked at me and she said, um, he needs a girl like you. <laughs> you know, and I looked at her and I said, well, everybody needs someone. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> okay. Corden's occupation is a broker, a PR consultant, or a nuclear physicist. <laughs> Anybody know? Broker. A broker. <laughs> it took blank people to sew the pearls on Aaron's wedding dress. Four, ten, or zero. Aaron's dress has sequins. Four. Amanda, Amanda had his hands on that one. <laughs> we had four people over some pearls on the train of the dress yesterday. <laughs> um, at Corden's family reunion, Aaron and Corden won the pie eating contest, tennis tournament, or the three legged race. Tennis tournament. Tennis tournament. So if you knew he was a tennis pro, oh, I thought that was too easy. You I might have known that he. <laughs> What'd you guess? Pie three legged race. Oh, <laughs> three legged race. Well, yeah, yeah, Aaron's a runner. Aaron's a runner. Though. Though. Yeah. I was thinking of reunion type activities. Mm -hmm. I could have worked there. Corden's favorite thing about Erin is her hot bod, her mom. <laughs> her mom! <laughs> <laughs> or her sweet sensitivity. And you have to have what Corden told me to put. Which one of those did mom? He probably her told her to put her hot bod, but I put sweet sensitivity. He actually yeah. told me to put C, her sweet sensitivity. Yeah, but he's actually thinking it. I know. <laughs> Yeah, sweet sensitivity, that's like something. No, that's not. We asked him, and he goes, he goes I said, you know, we need you to come up with a third, like, correct answer. He goes, the right answer's already there. <laughs> I was like, which one? <laughs> he goes, your mom. <laughs> no, he had a hard time coming up with that, but this morning he said, sweet sensitivity. So, count up your right answers, and if we have a lot of people, did anybody get them all right? <laughs> did you get them all right, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> did anybody else get them all right? Who missed one? Just one. Two? Three? You missed three? Go ahead and do the present. Which ones did you miss? I missed <laughs> the I Love You First. Oh Menlo Barbara. Park. <laughs> and then where they were going to honeymoon. Oh, okay. Good. Very good. Okay. I didn't do too much. The plan now is let's go get some food and then we'll come back and while we eat, Aaron can open up some presents. And if you need to take off a little early, 
we can, but we don't want to do. But I must have bought the bee some places. <laughs> okay, Erin, there's a little note in there, so be sure to read it. An old superstition says that a bride can ensure good luck by wearing something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. World Book Encyclopedia. Something old is grandma's pearl earrings. Something new is the wedding dress. Something borrowed is the slip for the wedding dress. <laughs> and something blue, the flower on the garter. So now you can open so one this in must bag. be. And if you decide to change that around, that's fine, but I just thought I'd tell you what you could use for so that you have good luck for your wedding and your marriage. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's combined efforts. <laughs> Aaron, hold it up. Did you guys color Aaron? <laughs> oh, Aaron. It was blue, but it was so light blue that it looked white. So we got a. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> magic marker? No, it was a, one that's supposed to write well on material. <laughs> and I made it dark it blue. <laughs> joking about like how we couldn't eat very much. Aaron's she like, ate more than stop. Stephen and I each ate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, she was out working it all off, so uh, uh should we pass these out? Yeah, do you want to just can I think eat? we're close enough. I know, I think we're close close enough. Enough. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Everybody's got their drinks <laughs> <laughs> Wishes Aaron, love Wendy and Brittany. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Wendy? There you are. I can't wait to watch this. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. These are perfect for storing things and mm -hmm. nice. Cool. Yeah, very nice. They've got the oh, do they stack inside each the other? The lids are key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah. really nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come here, Aaron. 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 Look at there. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie. 
just a stack of the kind. it out of the back of the suburban <laughs> and I look at it and I say, it's a chair. <laughs> <laughs> it was this great big rattan chair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like two people could sit in it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> like furniture for an apartment type chair. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. I knew. <laughs> Thank you. 
seen someone do it. <laughs> Um, actually, they have silver. That's the one they led me to. So just really take them down. Oh, no, it's is it that same design but silver? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> yeah, just take it to Macy's because that was the one they gave me. I gave showed them the thing that I couldn't read, you know, the, all yeah. the little things. Yeah. And that's the one that they led me to. So just. Mm. <laughs> Those are pretty anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty. <laughs> I think she put the gift you see in there too. So yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sure. But <laughs> Liz, what do you have in your face? Is that the first place that you've got? Like a face in the face. Wow. A smiley face? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I see. Who's party? Oh, yeah. 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 Where's my camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is us now. All right. Are we nerd or is he And um, uh, just a little something for your cruise. We love you so very much and can't wait for your big day. Love, Brit and Maggie, Buddha and Maggie May. <laughs> Maggie May, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't write the card. Thank you. <laughs> that way she can make. Thank you. I 
She got me at my bridal shower. I wear those more than any of the nice the stuff I got. <laughs> <laughs> I wear those all the yeah, time. It's so practical. It's perfect. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> nope. Were you okay. worried, Erin? Are we missing any? <laughs> <Mary? laughs> she knew I'd oh, do that. Conservative. There it is. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We have some dessert, and so we're going to head back into there, and while we get out the boxes, we have a little short video clip that we want to show so that you can feel like you know Cordon a little bit better. Oh yeah. For so sure. gather around the TV while we get out the dessert. Okay.